Hello there, in today's tutorial I will show you how to play Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare without any Xbox Live. And uh, what's good is that this method won't ever really be patched unless they somehow make an update for the game. So this will continue to work for as long as the game continues running. So uh, first of all, what you will want to do is uh, go into General and then go all the way down to Power Options. And make sure you have it set to sleep. Do not have it set on shutdown or the method will not work. Alright, so all you have to do is open the game. And this method is very simple. Anyone can do it and it works most of the time. So don't need to worry about anything being patched or anything. It should work just fine. Alright, so what you want to do is just start the game as normal and pretty much um, after the screen it will say that you don't have permission. And what you'll want to do is just press B when that happens. And yeah, it shows this, but you want to press B. If you press A, well, then it will just show you the Xbox Live pop-up. And that's not what we're looking for, so make sure to just go back and press B, press no. So then after that, you'll just want to stay on this menu and go to your console power button, turn that off. And you'll want to wait a while for it to fully shut off. But after it shuts off, you'll just want to press the power button, turn it back on, and log into the same account. And after that, you should be able to play anything you want in Garm Warfare. And uh, just a reminder, it only works on the first Garm Warfare. It doesn't work on the second one. But I think there are methods for Battle for Neighborville. And also uh, Black Ops 3 if you want to play that. But in this video, I won't be showing that. It's for this style right here. So anyways, the console's turned off, you just need to turn it back on, like normal, and there you go. And all you want to do is turn your controller back on, press A to go back in the game, and this time you should be able to do whatever game mode you want. So if you haven't played this game yet, um, I'd highly recommend either doing uh, Garden Ops or Gardens and Graveyards. Because those two modes have the most players, usually on the weekend after work and school. Uh, the other modes are kind of a hit and miss. So yeah, um, I'll show you a little demonstration to show that it works. And yeah, I'm not skipping anything just to show you guys that this method still does work. Now this has been a method that's lasted since the game came out. So once again, it should continue to work years ahead of this tutorial. And uh, yeah, it just, it takes a while, it's a bit slow, but now if I try and go in multiplayer, now you can see you can go through all these menus just fine, no Xbox Live menu, and you just need to search for a game and there you go. Wow, that was quick. So I'll, I'll just show you a little demonstration. Oh yeah, this happens right here. This pop-up might come up a couple times. You just need to press B. Keep on going back. Every single time that pop-up comes up, it is a little annoying. It happens almost every time when you start a game. But after that, um, it'll go interruption free. So now it'll be kind of hard to play the game while uh, I'm on the camera here, but... I'll still try and show you a little bit of demo gameplay. So yeah, I guess if you want to, you can also uh, invite your friends to, I think. I don't know, I've never tried. But, uh, alright, let's... Let's see. Oh, really? There aren't any players? Um, alright, there aren't any players, but I am in a lobby here. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that. Anyways, yeah, this is how you play the game. Um, 
I am in a lobby, it's just that no one's playing right now, so yeah, cheers. So I did mention earlier that uh, usually you'd be able to find a game on uh, on the weekends after work and school. I'm playing on a Thursday, so I decided to look for a welcome mat session, and there are people in the game. So yeah, I, I know I didn't show the whole uh, login process over here, but it works the same. Um, I guess just... Just keep on trying different modes, and eventually you'll find someone. Oh, come on. I got this. Let me at least get a kill for my video. But yeah, there you go, I got a kill. So sorry for the poor camera angles, but that's just kind of what I have to work with. So I guess uh, I'll just continue playing for a little bit longer until my legs get tired of holding this camera. Because it is so hard to hold it up, oh my. Come on, I gotcha. Nah. Alright. Anyways, I am in a real lobby. If you want to look up these players, if you're really that skeptical. But it does work, so uh, yeah, cheers.